Hey YouTube, welcome to TC10, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. The crazy part of it is that I wait till I start a video and then I want to put on chapstick. <laughs> and I'm just slightly off all the time. It's, it's just me and how I am. <laughs> troll because I consider myself a troll, a cute troll, but a troll nonetheless. And so welcome to my channel. I'm talking fast because I'm meeting uh, one of my little sisters out for lunch in an hour and the place is only like 10 minutes away so this is a get ready with me like for real for real because i have nothing on my face i washed it i don't even have moisturizer on i brushed my teeth um this, so this is just this is me like completely just raw so this is a full get ready with me i don't know if i'm going to get to eyeshadow if i don't get to the eyeshadow the natasha denona Beba, Beba barbecue palette. <laughs> if I don't get to that in this video, when I come back, depending on how I feel, then I'll do an eye look. So for right now, we're going to start with um, my face. And I will try to remember to list all the products below. This is the Bashia Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel Serum. This is the only product that I've tried so far that actually helps my under eye area. It helps hydrate this area which makes the sunken areas look fuller, which makes my bags look a little less prominent. They're always still there, especially this side. This is my double bag. See how there's one here and then there's like two over here. But this, I have noticed the difference. Even like the first time I used this, I used it at night. Every time I use a new product, I use it at night so I don't go out in the day and have a bad reaction or I'm looking, you know, crazier than usual. The Olay um, Serum. So I used it at night, and when I woke up the next morning, I'm like, my bags look a little depuffed. So I'm like, I'm liking this product. And so I've been using it ever since. It's fairly expensive to me. It's fairly expensive. Expensive to me for a face product or makeup product. It's like over 40 bucks. And so, oh, my skin is dry. And so when I see it on sale, I might have purchased an extra one. Or it was like 40% off at Ulta or something like that. And I was like, ooh. And I do have like a hand towel here for in between. And then I put on the Bashia uh, Sabaki Beauty Oil. Hopefully I will not make a mess because it's an oil. So it's oily. I don't do the whole dropper thing because it's messy. And I know you're not supposed to put... Um, this directly on your skin because then you're putting bacteria in here, but I'm like, you know what? My face is clean I'm the only one using it So like, I don't care And so I rub this in all over so this is my Morning and night routine. The only difference with my night routine is I do not use the beauty oil and I use an Olay Night recovery cream versus the daytime cream that has SPF 25 in it. That's the only difference I think I'm going to order some Peter Roth products. And I said that like that because I almost forgot what I was going to say. Some Peter Roth products <laughs> during the Sephora sale next month in April. And then I'm going to go in with the Olay Regenerous Whip, blah, 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 SPF. What I do with the excess on my oil from on my hands, I just rub into my hair. And then I wipe my hand off on a washcloth that I have here. And then I go in with the Olay Whipped uh, Moisturizer with SPF. Got that on my face. I brung like my entire caboodle just from in my bathroom since I was doing like my, my whole face complete get ready with me type thing instead of trying to pull out everything. That idea I had from my college days because you had a community bathroom and so everybody had their caboodle with all their toiletries in it and even having an apartment I'm like you know what it's just easier because my medicine cabinet is on the wall and there's a mirror in front of the sink and so instead of having to reach over reach over or leaving just a bunch of things on my countertop in the bathroom I just pull out my caboodle and after I use everything I need to do then I just put it under the sink all right so and then Whatever's left on my hands, I just go around my neck. Around my neck. Woo-ha. Something, something. This is, <laughs> this is Carol's daughter. 
her um, hair butter cream, something or other. It's in a tube, and so when you get to the bottom, it's hard to squeeze out, and so I cut it and then put it into um, a container with the lid on it. And this is, excuse me for that, I was sealing um, that container. And rub my hands together. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get to my eyeshadow today. Well, not right now, I'll do that later. And I leave a little bit on this hand because then I go back and I want to be able to get the sides and also the back. Oh, this feels so soothing. I have hair on my face. I don't know what it is, but like just rubbing my scalp or even like scratching my scalp is so soothing to me. I don't know if that's like a childhood thing, like for babies, you know, you rub their head and they just fall asleep type of thing. So I'm going to try and think of stuff to talk about. <laughs> Well, I'm noticing red bumps on my forehead. This on my chin has been red off and on for probably three months now, maybe more. You know what? Well, I'm going to tell you. Last night I used a sample of the Ole Hendrickson Truth Serum. And I used it last night. I washed my face and I put it on. And I didn't put on any moisturizer, no cream, no anything. So I wanted to see what would happen. And I think this is what happened. I see a red mark here, here. I see like three red marks here, and I'm sure you probably know. Maybe you did. And then there's one here. There's a bump here. I I have been having redness right here, but I see a bump right here. I see a new bump here. And actually, this is renewed because all of this has been kind of red for about three or four months now, but I'm noticing actual bumps right now. Like a cluster of bumps. And there's redness here. There's a bump there. Oh, okay. I'm glad I'm doing this because I don't think I would have noticed this just rushing to do what I just did in the bathroom. So I'm no longer going to use any more of that truth serum because that's the only thing different that I've done. Um, then I take this type of a brush, brush my hair. I was teasing my partner one day. Um, he's in one of my videos. He, he considers himself an English mutt. <laughs> He has red hair. His hair is long. It's like down to here. What is it now? I think it's like... Uh. But he doesn't brush his hair in the morning. He brushes it at night before he gets in the shower. And sometimes I'll just brush his hair. Like if he's at the com if he's sitting at the computer, I'll just go over and just, you know, play with his hair. Put little plaits in it or braid it up or something. And then I'll take um, like a... This, I don't think this is a boar's hair brush. But a similar brush to that. Because this helps lay down the smaller hairs. And so I was... <laughs> brushing my hair and I said do you see uh, what's going on here I'm like this little bit of hair and I'm like brushing it and combing it and you have like all of this flowy hair and you don't do anything <laughs> and so we kind of laughed about that and it was kind of ironic and then I have a comb I use the short part um the side where the you know what I'm trying to say and then I just kind of fluff this up a little bit <laughs> And then pat it down in case there's any long straight hairs. I do get it cut Thursday. And I can see that I need to because I'm seeing pieces in the back that are not quite laying down. And I just puffed it up. And so if I was not doing anything to my face today, this is, I would be going out the door right now. But we're going to get ready. I'm going to continue getting ready. So what I'm going to take, hopefully I won't forget anything. Actually, I'm going to take out of... The caboodle what I'm going to use just so I don't <laughs> forget anything okay so the milk hydro grip primer I feel like I'm forgetting something no okay the milk <laughs> hydro grip primer <laughs> And as I use these items, I'll put them back in the caboodle. When I used this, when I do this in the bathroom, I just take it out, use it, put it back in. But because the caboodle is in front of me and not down where I can look in it and see what I need, I pulled everything out. And then I'll go over my eyebrows as well. I did an eyebrow video the other day. Okay, so then I'll wipe my hands off because that's a tacky uh, primer. <laughs> The Sephora mm, Bright Serums Gel Concealer. I don't go 
all the way across. And this is a technique. I don't know if, if I originally saw Wayne Gosh talk about this, like putting just two, two dots right here, which you see I did a swipe and not a dot. And a, a couple dots here, which I didn't do a swipe. I, I didn't do dots. I did a swipe. Uh, what's his name? Robert Welsh also says that. He's like two little dots here and then like two little, two little dots there. And that's what I do. I do... Yes, I'm all up in your face. I have wrinkles, I have under eye bags. If I put a lot of concealer or primer, not primer, if I put a lot of concealer or foundation under here, it's going to seep into um, my wrinkles because I have wrinkles. There's no way around it. This is the NARS concealer and it's a little bit darker than this one and I'm going to use this one for around my nose. There are times when I can use this one under my eyes without it making my under eye discoloration look darker. And I think it's more so when I have a tan. Does this have an expiration? Oh, it expires in December of this year. Okay, I feel like I had it for a while, but I think I might have just opened it. And then I'm going to take my Cover FX foundation. Hopefully I will not spill any. Let me put my hand towel down so I don't spill any on my pants. I don't like that it doesn't have a pump. But in a way, I guess it's all right. This might not be the most sanitary way to apply foundation. But this is how I apply it. I do still have a glass dish here that I used to... Like if it had a pump, I would just pump it on here and use it. And I still could squeeze it out and use it on here. But, you know, this is just really just simple. And this is usually all the foundation that I use typically so we will see what happens I haven't I mentioned in another video that I haven't been using I need something to put my dirty brushes on that I haven't been using my sponges which I do love because I do put on like just enough foundation and so there's not a lot of excess to pat off or blend in And I keep saying I'm going to try spraying the brush with setting spray and patting that, pressing that into my skin instead of just spraying my face. But I keep forgetting to try that. So as you see, the first thing I'm doing is blending out my concealer. And whatever is left over, I do lightly go under my eyes. I put way too much on this side. I think I always put too much on that side. I don't know what it is. You know, I think it's just the angle of like my hand or my arm or something. And so I'll lightly just whatever is left over. I'm going to try and pull some over here and put over here. <laughs> so I don't directly put concealer under my eyes. But whatever residuals on the brush, I brush under. And then I'll go in with... I got concealer in my eye. Not good for contact lens wear. You know, this brush is too big for that. Is this a concealer brush? This is a corrector. Airbrush detail, but then it has corrector. Like, looks like it's in French. I don't know. But this brush is too big for that. And then I take my foundation brush and I just begin stippling my foundation around my face. I forget sometimes how quickly this starts to dry because you see how I just, well, you probably don't, but even just patting this, like there's still lines. <laughs> and so I have to really look. And then I will, whatever residuals on the brush, I will go under my eye with, even though, as you saw, I did not put foundation, even though you saw I did not put foundation directly under my eyes. My goal is just to get my face as even toned as possible and have it still look natural. That's my purpose. And then I'll lightly sweep the brush like where I may still have lines from where the foundation started to dry. And I do very lightly under my jawline. I don't do down my neck. My neck and my face is not the same color and people who know me know that. And so... You know, if they ever see me all one color, they're going to be like, are you okay? Like, what's, what's wrong? <laughs> so I still want to look like me. I just want my face to be one color. And so that's the foundation. That's the concealer. 
making sure to completely blend it. And I do still have some redness around my nose. Yeah, I'll take a little bit more concealer. This is the NARS again. But I'm not really pressed about my skin, you know, just the flawless look that everyone keeps saying because my skin is not flawless. If I ever look flawless, it look, it'll look like I have a mask on. Oh, that worked out really well. And so I just want to look as even as possible and still look natural. That's my goal. That's my purpose. And I'm 50. And I've liked the natural look probably for like over 10 years now. Like I've never wanted to look like a cake face. All right, so I'm going in. I'm using the Lancome Long Time No Shine Setting Powder. I love this container. It's not That's not the container it came in. And I like the puff that came with it. And this is the messy part because powder goes everywhere. <laughs> Because it's a powder. And because I do have smile lines, I do do that as well. And around my nose, because my nose gets oily. I am going to use other setting powders. Um, but I find that I need to set my under eye with a translucent. When I use even um, other shades that say they're translucent, but they may have a hint of color, I'm going to use my hourglass brush. I find that when I use um, colored powders, no matter how slight the color is, sometimes it, it makes my under eye discoloration look a little weird. I'm going to take the Honey and Fenty. Oh, I did. I forgot to put on my blush. After I put on foundation, that's when I go in with um, ugh, my Fenty Bordeaux Brat. And I do this before I put on powder because it's a cream product. And so it seems to help blend better for me when I um, put it directly on top of my foundation. But since I didn't put a lot of powder in this area yet, um, it may not be that big of a deal today. And I'll take whatever brush I use for foundation and just stipple that in. Welcome to the crazy. I'm just trying to be entertaining. Oh, I'm seeing gaps over here. Ah. Usually, usually I put more, and so there are no gaps in where the color is or is not. Oh. I'm not a highlight person either, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure I mentioned that in one of my other videos. Um, but one thing that annoys me is when they when. <laughs> And it's okay if you do this. I'm not saying not to do this. But for me, like, I would never highlight the tip of my nose. Do you see how big my nose is? And can you imagine it being like a little gold disco ball right there? Like, even right now, you see the light is naturally hitting that area. But for me to highlight that, like, what the hell? And, I, <laughs> and sometimes <laughs> I miss listening to the video because once they highlight their nose, I'm, like, staring at their nose. Like, ooh, something shiny. <laughs> And I, and I kind of tune out what they're saying because I'm so distracted by this bright ball of light on their nose. Like, and I know that's the thing now. <laughs> but for me, I'm just like... <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, shoot, let me rewind this and listen to what they're saying. <laughs> and so... <laughs> I, I don't get it. I'm just... I don't... Okay, so this is the, <laughs> the Fenty Setting Powder and Honey. <laughs> Oh gosh, like I know not for me. And so I'm just like pressing this in. I've been experimenting a little bit with putting this under my eyes because I do want to see if it's going to brighten. Because the honey color is supposed to brighten. So I want to see if it's going to brighten or not for me because sometimes when I try to brighten under my eyes, it just makes my discoloration look weird. It accentuates my under eye <coughs> powder. It accentuates <laughs> my under eye discoloration. <laughs> so I usually concentrate this one, the way I have been using it, is just in the center of my face, as you see. And so when I come back later, I'll see how I think my under eyes are looking. Down here in this mirror, look, they look darker than before I put the honey under there. But we'll see in like a natural light what it looks like. And then I take the nutmeg. 
how do I wear my shirt? And I only use a little bit of the nutmeg because it's like a deep color. And I use that around the perimeter of my face. I'm gonna take a little bit more. Put around my double chin. That's the one here on one side. Which <laughs> is weird as hell. <laughs> I am just completely a troll. And so, ooh, it's 125. Am I gonna be able to do my eyes really fast? And then I take, which I haven't been for a while, but I'm gonna take um, NARS Blush and Sin. And the same brush I use for my powder. Just gonna dab a little bit. Yeah, my under eyes are looking dark down here in this mirror, so I don't know. If it's because it's less lighting down here and up here is the ring light but i'll see how it looks later in different light and i'll go in the bathroom and see how it looks but yes yeah, looking my eyes are looking dark so what i think i'm gonna do is you only need a little bit of this blush because as you see it'd be doing this thing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back in with um the lancome long time no shine powder and put a little bit on the clean end of the brush to shorten and see if I can get some of that darkness out of there. So I know now not to put honey under my eyes either. So that's something I learned. Yep, that looks a little better. I think. I don't know. And the thing is, is like I, I don't want to start color correcting because then that'll be just another product to put on the color corrector and then the concealer. And it's just too many products. And, and because I do have um, wrinkles, it'll just end up accentuating my wrinkles. And so for me, less is more. And I'm okay with it still looking a little discolored because, as I said, people who know me know what my face look like. And if I have like absolutely no character or color in my face, they're going to think I'm sick. Okay, so I think I am going to... Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Prime my eyes with the Fenty eyeshadow primer. I brought out my entire <laughs> eyebrow thing, eyebrow, my eyebrow case because I didn't uh, want to forget whatever type of brush I might want to use. And I only dipped this in one time. Well, pull it out and dip it in because it's already in, and it covers both of my eyes. I really like this primer, so that's going to go back in there. And I'm going to use actually another, um, this one says contour highlight. This one says airbrush detail. I don't know what's the difference because they look almost the same. This one is a little more tapered. But other than that, to me, it's the same brush. But I think they did that for marketing. So people think that they're getting something different. But then this one doesn't say airbrush either. So don't you know what? They, to me they do the same thing i use this one for concealer i use the other one like i'm doing now to smooth out my eyeshadow primer i use them both the, the same kind of way because it's the same freaking brush it's a different number and different name but mm. all right this is my first time using this palette <laughs> you know what i'm gonna do before i forget i'm gonna brush my hair again because putting on that powder and you the makeup brush going along my hairline. Let me just make sure. I keep a, I keep a brush similar to this in my car. So days where like if I do forget to brush my hair, I can brush it in the car. I know some days, y'all, telling you. I let me find a small blending brush. Some people, this palette has some of her cream to. Um, powder shadows in it. Some people can't stand it. I like it because you can over blend. But the reason I said I like it is because if, if you put on one of her cream and the powders and you blend it out too much, just go on and pack more color on and then it's already blended. You don't have to re-blend. And so I don't mind that at all. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going I'm to be simple. I'm going to use... <laughs> What am I going to use? Oh, I I think I'm going to use 
this shade here and this column here. Well, those two are kind of the same. Yeah, I'm going to use this in the crease and then I'm going to use this to deepen the crease and then I'm going to put this in the outer corner and that on the lid. You guys can't even see. This color, this color, and these two. And I'm going to try this one um, as an eyeliner or underneath or something. So that's what we're going to do. Sorry, what did I say I was going to do? <laughs> this will be like completely different. Let me put my hand towel back on here so I can tap off. I don't know if I'm just going to be quiet and edit this out because this is the part where I stop talking when I'm doing my eyeshadow. <laughs> Actually, my makeup in general, except for my base face. I think that's because I feel like I need to concentrate more. There is a lot of kick up in the pan. Uh, with this shade, this is Prairie, if you guys have the Diva Barbecue palette. And it is 1.30, so I have like 15 minutes. I need to be out the door. I think because I was dabbing my brush in it instead of swiping the brush across the shadow. So I think that's why... Uh, there was a lot of kick up in the pan. I feel so ridiculous right now because I'm looking in the mirror here and there's a mirror on the, <laughs> on the flip side of <laughs> this palette. My partner laughed at me one time because I was in the mirror doing my makeup and I was using a palette, <laughs> the mirror in the palette, and I was standing in front of the bathroom mirror. He's like, you realize you're using a mirror standing in front of a mirror, right? And I'm like, yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I do. I do realize sometimes that the way I do things does look strange, but that's part of the crazy. Y'all know I'm kind of strange. This mirror feels loose. <gasps> you know what? I don't think the glue is completely tight. I was using my hand towel to wipe the mirror, and I feel it. I felt it shifting. I'm gonna have to be careful with this thing. That tells me if I ever drop it, this mirror is done. I like this color. This is Prairie, in case I forget to list it below. And I'm, I'm just still blending out that same color, blending it upwards a little bit towards my brow bone. Yeah, so I keep getting quiet. There, what, what other trend do I dislike? <laughs> I dislike the highlighting of the Cupid's bow. Like, all right, so if you look at my face, it's already highlighted. And even like up here, I don't have any highlights. So it's not like a shimmery highlight, but where the light naturally hits my face and of course where I'm starting to sweat already. But, and even still in my head, the light naturally highlights certain parts of my face. And so I don't feel the need to put a shimmery color like on the tip of my nose or right here. I, I don't know. And I think, I think it's just gimmicky. You know, they come up, uh, the makeup industry comes up with things and people are like oh yeah I gotta do this I gotta do that and I'm just like why what am I doing I was going to deepen the crease with that other color yeah so I, yeah, I don't get into that another thing I think is gimmicky um this shade is freckle <laughs> and I I don't know if this started with MAC or not but it's where I first was introduced to it and probably because MAC was like my introduction into buying makeup and trying to get color matched. Other than when I went to a, um, a Stila store um, way back. Oh my gosh, that was like eons ago. I am loving how these are blending. And uh, I'm saying it's a gimmick and I know I didn't even say what it is yet. I, they put on a lip liner and then they put on lipstick and then you put on lip gloss. Why do you need three lip products? Just get a shimmery lipstick. I understand if um, if your lips are small, you want to overline, you want your lips to look bigger, or even I'm noticing some people with fuller lips, like lips even more full than mine, they're overlining to make their lips look bigger. And I'm just like, I don't want to look like that. <laughs> All right, I need to hurry up and do this because I'm like <laughs> sitting here just acting crazy. Um, <laughs> so I, I just, I, I don't get it. 
you know, just use a shimmery lipstick if you want your lips to be shiny. You know, a lip liner, a lipstick, a gloss. I'm just like, that is that that's a lot of money for all those things. And then they have everything in all different colors. Like a lip liner to match the lipstick, to match the gloss, and this I mean, that is too much. Um if you have a problem with um, your lipstick feathering, then yeah, if you need to use a lip, lip liner to keep your lipstick in place, then go for it. But I'm just like, I don't think most people actually need to do that. Um, this looks like it might be a... Oh, this is a cream and a powder. I can tell by how the brush is going in it. Oh, let's see what happens with that. And so I don't do that either. And I did fall into the thing where I was like, oh, let me have matching lip liners for my lipsticks. I will say though, that when I was using corresponding um, lip liners with lipsticks, I enjoyed it because if I put on a dark blue lip liner, I would also fill in my lips with that dark blue lip liner and then put on a dark blue lipstick. So when the lipstick started to wear off, it, it's my lips still look the same. You know what I mean? And so the lip liner, I don't even know what color this is. It's looking like blue gray on my lid. This is this color down here. So I guess like a slate gray type type color. Slate gray type color. Those have been watching me. I think I'm color dyslexic because I'll think a color is one color and it's another color. Um, but back to the lip liner and lipstick thing. So I did like doing that because it did, you know, keep my lips the same color as I originally applied. And I didn't touch up, but honestly, I don't touch up my lips anymore. Well, yeah, if I if I go somewhere and eat and I'm just still trying to stay cute, then y'all add more, you know, lipstick or whatever. But generally, I don't touch up my face at all. It's like what it is is what it is with me. I'm, I'm just so simple. I am. And I do think it just gets into a lot of money. Also, too, because I'm using... um. I've been gravitating towards, well, have gravitated and loved being the here <laughs> to liquid lipsticks. And so they dry down and they stay. I didn't add any color on this brush. I'm just feathering this out to blend this a little bit. I'm liking this palette. And I had a feeling that I was. All right, so I'm going to wipe off that brush, the, um, the shader brush I used. And I'm going to go into that middle shade right there that one is monroe Ooh, who is that i am liking the formula of these shadows oh my i was gonna say it doesn't look like that in the palette but it kind of does be done oh i'm liking this but I, I but for me too it's like have at it that's what you do that's what you do if I was younger, and also that part of it was that too. I'm retired now, so I have to pay attention to where my money's going because, you know, it's, I can't, I'm not able to work overtime and get another check because I'm fully retired. So, like, what I have is what I have. And as I started streamlining um, my possessions and paying more attention to my finances, I'm like, you know what? I do not need to buy three lip products unless I get three different stunners. <laughs> from Fenty or something. I don't need to buy a liner, a lipstick, and a gloss. I am liking this. Ah! Okay. I am going to take this corner, this corner, this color down here in the corner. I'm going to get a completely different brush and just lightly, I don't know if it's going to be too light for under my brow bone. I'm not going to put anything under my brow bone. But what I'm going to do is with this brush with no additional color is just blend out some more of that crease color that I used, that I took up here. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I got like seven minutes. I have a feeling she's going to be late. And we didn't even confirm. I think it was like two days ago. We were supposed to meet for lunch last Tuesday. And then she sent me a message asking if we can switch it to this week. And I said, sure. And I didn't hear from her till Sunday when she was like, okay, Wednesday. And I'm just like, because really I didn't expect to hear back from her at all at that point. Or not until like after the fact or like next week or something. <laughs> I 
And so that's that's what the eyes are going to look like. I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into this black. I want to see how this is going to look on my upper lash line. Ooh. Damn. And I'm going to stop right here. I'm not going to take it all the way in. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Wow. Okay. I'm happy I got this palette. Wow. Oh, shoot. I messed up. Dang it. I'm going to have to take this one further in so I can even out that line. It always happens. Like, one side is always perfect. And then the other side is like, oh, shoot, man. Come on, for real. And then you got to go back. And try to match the other side to the side you messed up. So the side that was perfect ends up, ends up getting changed. <laughs> because of the side that wasn't perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am. Oh. You know, if she is on time and I'm late and she says something, I'm going to be like, this takes time. <laughs> She wears makeup, but not a lot, like very little makeup. Um, and so she's always like, oh my gosh, your eyeshadow looks nice. And I did get, did get her some eyeshadow a while ago. And when she wears it, she'll be like, look, I'm wearing that palette you gave me. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I like this. Before I forget, let me do my brows. I have done my whole face before I forgot my brows. And then I'll go out and I'll be in the car and be like, ah. <laughs> and I'm like, I need my brows. Keep my brows really simple. I did a brow video the other day of how I groom and do my brows. Very simple. I like looking natural. I've heard people say they can't do their eyeshadow without their brows being done because it helps them know where their shadow goes. I know where my shadow's going to go, so I don't really understand. <laughs> I don't really understand when they say that. And then when I'm looking at the videos, they have full brows anyway, and they're already um, shaped and everything. And so I'm thinking, I thought their brows were done already, but then once they do the concealer and stencil and all of that stuff, I can, I'm like, oh, okay, it looks different. But because I like how natural brows look, when I see their brows, I'm like, to me, that looked good the way it was. And so because they already have a shape, like how I had to draw the tail, they already have a tail. So I'm like, what do you mean you can't do your eyeshadow without your brows? Because you don't know where the shadows want to go when your brows are completely full already anyway. And so this is just me. And I'm not, I'm not dragging anybody or anything like that. I'm just saying these are things that I just don't understand. <laughs> and especially um, people who've been doing their makeup for like, you know, 10, 20 years. It's like, how do you not know... <laughs> where your shadow's going to go unless they're trying to create like a different type of shape because i know there's some looks where they take their um their wing like way out here to the shadow or they might do a double wing or you know a cut crease and so they're changing the shape of their eye they're using the makeup they're using their eyeshadow to change the shape of their eye so yeah something like that yeah you would need to see where your brows are because you're creating a new shape but if you're just using your natural shape you already know where it's going to go so maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what they're saying. I'm trying to match up where this arch is over here, which very seldom happens. <laughs> and I'm messing up. This eye, I always mess up the left eye. Like, look at that. That's like messy. Look at that. It's just like all the way down here and smudged. And I don't have any Q-tips over here. Oh, gosh. This is... And maybe because I was babbling and not focusing. Maybe this is why I usually stop talking when I'm doing my makeup. Because then I just start messing up. And so in order to fix this, I'm just going to make this hella thick. Because I don't have a Q-tip over here. I have Q-tips in my bathroom. So I'm just going to make this really thick to cover up where I came down way too far. This is a freaking mess. <laughs> Which means I need to go back and thicken here. <laughs> I 
yourself makeup. Because you mess up, just try to fix it. Add more or take away if you have a wipe with uh, a makeup wipe remover with you or a tissue or something like that. But I like being able to do something and then uh, wash it off later. And wear a different color the next day or wear no color. So this is what the brows are looking like today. <laughs> this side is looking crazy. But I am crazy, so it's all good. <laughs> Hey, I'm almost done, guys. Oh, this video is 40 minutes. Holy Toledo, Batman. Damn, I think this is like my longest video yet. My entire makeup collection video wasn't even this long. I think that one was like 24 minutes. <laughs> but then this was like a complete full get ready with me, starting with, you know, my face moisturizer and eye cream. And so I guess that's not bad. And then talking. I think I would have, it would have been 10 minutes less if I wasn't talking. So that's my brows. I'm trying for the first time um, a Fenty liner, and this one is, it's a glide liner, I think it says, and this one is in chestnut brown. I wanted to see if it would show up on my lower lash line, and I also wanted to see if it would irritate my eyes or not. It did show up some. That's really good. I didn't think it was, to be honest with you, because I've tried brown liners in the past, and they did not show up. But this one actually did, so I'm happy about that. Hope if it doesn't, oh, that went under my eyelid. If it doesn't, that went under my eyelid. Stay on my waterline. If I, I didn't bring a mascara. Ah, oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. I really forgot what I was gonna say. I'm still thinking. Can you tell? You see smoke coming out of my ears. I also wanted to tell, tell or see if it was going to irritate my eyes. Did I say that already? So I'm liking that this is showing up. I'm liking um, it did glide on. It was easy to apply. My scalp is itchy. I'll go for a haircut tomorrow, but other than that, I need to wash it. But I think I'll wait because I always wash it when I come home from getting it cut. Um, yeah, then bring over mascara, my go-to Fenty gloss, I think it's fussy. Uh, and I keep this one in my purse, so I took it out of my purse to bring here. So like wherever I am, and this is very moisturizing. So wherever I am, if I rushed out of my apartment with only lip gloss on, sometimes I put this on, sometimes I don't. I keep my mini ones. And my makeup caboodle that's in my bathroom. And even if I use one of those, like when I do my face, I don't carry it with me. I still just take this one because they're all basically like a neutral sheer washer color. So it doesn't really matter if you change colors. Like who knows? Nobody knows. Thank you for watching. If you're still here, we're going on like 45 minutes and I don't think I'm going to edit anything out. <laughs> So let me know what you think about, you know, this get ready with me. Do you like it? Do you like these long videos? If you have the Natasha Denona Biba barbecue palette, let me know how you're liking it. I'm digging it. This was easy. I did this look. I have no fallout. Um, new product I tried. The Sephora liner. And I will try to remember to list everything below. Uh, any questions, let me know. Um, if you're not subscribed and you do like this sort of thing, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and click the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. And thank you for listening to my babble and thank you for watching. Bye.